This is the Sky Raider one that I have for sale in Barnstormers.com. As you can see, it's dirty. I don't want you to get any ideas that it's a ready to fly plane and need some attention. But the cowling is complete. The fiberglass got a couple of cracks, as you would expect of a cowling that's 10 plus years old. But it's there, it's complete. Brand new prop, brand new power fin prop. Rotax 447 single carb, single ignition, electric start. Uh, it has the longer landing gear that I put on about two years ago or whatnot. I do have this the standard landing gear. It will need an instrument panel. The instrument panel that's there now is coming out. Um, it's a, it's a mock-up from a friend of mine from his ultralight. Basic cushion. Stick rudder. And that's the panel, but that's coming out. That's going to uh, my friend's aircraft. As well as the transponder, which you're not going to need. This is for Class C airspace, which we have here. Uh, like I said, the glass needs to be replaced. I just noticed that it has some cracks that I wasn't aware of because of the dust. It has a setup for an antenna already. The fabric is in good condition. Just dirty. It's a registered light, light sport aircraft. Needs new tires because those tires are crack they're holding air now but eventually they will go flat no accidents has about 150 hours I have to find the logbook and the engine logbook so I can make sure that that's what it is I'm sure it's less than that just dirty from being inside where it's clean is where I had I had masked the the, uh, the fabric so I could paint the metal surfaces, which I never did finish. I just took it off so that you guys can see it now. Oh. Here's the ID plate. That's the original builder. I believe it was 2007 when he finished it. I could be wrong, but you can find out through the uh, end number. It's got a few dings and dents, of course. Some hanger rash, uh, like this one here. Fluid for the time that I had it, never had an issue. Handles great on the ground, handles great in the air. Like I said, Roltex 447, single carb, electric start. I was in the process of converting it over to uh, air cold, trying to get it light and a little lighter than, than it is now. I'm about 260 pounds, so I was trying to shed as much weight as possible. The heaviest I flew it was a 255, uh, cruised about 70 miles an hour, lands about 40, 45. Uh, the gearbox was serviced by Rotex Rig out of the west coast of Florida. So it should be nice and fresh. Just change the fluid and ready to roll. And that's pretty much it. What you see is what you get. Thank you.